Hello everyone, this is Darwell20 and welcome to episode 11 of Darwell20's Omnifactory series. Nobody tell Palomar, but I just dug up that beach over there. Shh, it's a secret between us. Don't tell him. Uh, today, I went and gathered a bunch of sand because I need some glass, among other things, to get started with a little bit more work on, uh, uh, not that button. Yeah, these guys. Yeah, that's better. Uh, a little bit more work today on what we were working on last episode. Well, last episode we did power, but I want to get back to applied energistics because um, clearly automation is the name of the game here. Now, now the other thing to mention is that logistics pipes totally available in this pack, um, and I want to play with it. I do. I want to see how it works and how it's looking in 1.12 and all that kind of cool stuff. That said, I know with the complexity of recipes that we're about to encounter um, and the amount of things that we have to automate, logistics pipes might not be the best course for our fully realized item storage and transfer system, right? Um, so what I think I'm gonna do is stick with applied energistics for the, for the main system and then use logistics pipes uh, for some smaller builds and just play with it a little bit. Because A, I don't know, you know exactly you know, how, how, let's say, how stable it is. I haven't played with it, so I don't know. It might be perfectly stable. Um, it might not be. I have no idea, right? So I just want to be a little careful with the amount of resources we have available to us at the moment. And also, like I said, a really large logistics pipe system might not be the best for this pack, which is going to need, clearly, a huge amount of automation going forward. So we will definitely be playing with the logistics pipes, but not yet, because soon, eventually, for other things, right? Uh, but for now, I'm doing more alloy smeltering, because remember, that's what this pack has a lot of alloy smeltering. Uh, I, I almost want another alloy smelter, to be fair. Um, but yes, that's, that's you know, what's on the agenda for today, alloy smeltering. 100%, that's it. That's all we're going to do is just run this machine. Probably not entirely true, but you get the idea. Uh, what I want to do is make us uh, some of this stuff. So to make this, I needed... That's compressed fluids crystals which i should have a few of so run them through the compressor see i like how fast that machine runs it ain't that bad and that should get us an illuminated panel which is part of the quest that we have to do quartz fiber and uh glass cables so we're probably gonna want to throw this onto the add-on thing so we need that okay so that's the wire mill so we throw pure Ah, uh, nether quartz into the wire mill. Got it. So I have a feeling that we're going to want more of you ground up into dust. Cool. And then to make this, does that have to be Fluix dust? It has to be Fluix dust. All right, I've got some of that. So we're covered there, right? Um, and was that the alloy smeltery it goes into? Yeah, alloy smeltering. Remember, I told you there'd be a lot of that this episode. Wasn't kidding. There's a lot of it in our future. Go alloy smeltery, go. I wonder if there's a way. I don't know what these buttons do. Allow overclocking. I'm assuming there's a way to add overclockers. I wonder if there's an overclock item. Yeah, okay, cool. Do, 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 do. There's a lot of pages of Greg Tech stuff. Are there upgrades of some kind? I assume there are. These things look like they might be upgrades. Uh, yeah, they look like it, don't they? I don't know my Greg Tech very well. Upgrade? Yeah, not so much. Speed? That's a good word to search for, right? That's usually a, not a bad idea. Over, overclock, inserts at specified rates, not so much. All right, we're gonna have to figure it out eventually. But now we can at least do this, right? Cool, and that'll get us the cables that we need. Enough for a quest complete, right? Hooray, quest complete, that's what's up. Claim them Omni coins. All right, so we've got a few cables. Uh, we've got the energy acceptor, which is cool. And uh, that's not bad, by the way. That's not a bad number of cables that we get out of that process, right? Um, I 
Yeah, we get two for that. That's not bad at all. I'm not sure if that's like the, the normal ratio, but that just doesn't feel terrible. So with that taken care of now, boop, boop. What's next on the agenda for the quests? Uh, so you want me to make an ME chest. And initially I was like, really, I have to make one of these? But then I think I know why. Uh, we use ME chests to make ME drives in the future. Now, in order to make the ME drive, though, uh, we need aluminum plates, which, as you recall, aluminum we're not going to get until we create this blast furnace, which is that multi-block structure of, of whatnots. So um, I think we're going to have to create the ME chest. So I'd like to get the basic setup, right? Like we'll start with an ME chest, maybe a 4K storage unit or something, right? Um, that should be fine. And uh, that means we're probably gonna have to get into 1K store. Okay, that's cool. That's not terrible, actually. Primitive circuits equals 1K storage units. That's not terrible at all. Um, and then this we'll need the inscribers for. And that needs electric pistons and an MV machine hull, which looks like whew, that's gonna be a thing. That's going to be a thing. Dark steel plates we can make. Electric pistons also need aluminum. And MV machine holes also need aluminum. So it looks like we can get the basics of applied energistics going, but if we want to go any further into the mod, meaning um, making the 4K storage unit, right? Um, actually, yeah, we, can, we can do 4Ks, right? We can do 4Ks. Um, and this is doable at this point, right? But if we want the drives, that's where we get into trouble. Right, the inscriber. Yeah, we can't do 4Ks because we need we need the inscriber to make the logic circuit. So we can get 1Ks right now, but we can't get 4Ks just yet. Not the end of the world, right? We could totally throw a few 1Ks into a drive and be cool for a little bit, right? So let's let's plan for that. Let's let's that's the plan. I think that's what we're gonna do. That's what I got planned. We'll do it. All right. So we need that. Uh, we're going to eventually need a drive, but that's going to require MV as well. So we should probably look at doing that aluminum processor today. But let's get the ME chest out of the way, and then we'll go from there. Deal? Um, so we need a uh, small storage crate. Oh, you know what? Small storage crates are in here. I should have been using these for my inventory. I'm sure I know some of the YouTube comments have already stated as much. Um, I'm just used to... What am, I, what am I doing with wood? Do I not have any wood on me right now? Like, what's my wood situation at the moment? I would think that I have some somewhere. Um, yeah, I guess not. Oh, there's some in here. Perfect. Uh, I've played enough challenge packs where those crates are usually disabled, so I think my brain just defaults to they're not available any to me. So, what are you going to do? That should be cool. We'll make We'll make a few of these. That sounds like a good time. That should be two of these guys. Do they have to be dark oak planks? Or am I just out of planks? Just out of planks. There you go. Cool. Now for my ME drive, we're just missing uh, the pure nether quartz crystal, which I don't think was bad, right? I think we... I thought I had some pure nether quartz. Didn't I at some point? I used it all for the quartz thingies, didn't I? Yes. Did I just grind up some dusts? I thought I ground up some dusts of nether quartz. But maybe I'm also crazy there. Let's get a dozen of you, I guess. I swore I just threw like half a stack of nether quartz dust in here, and I don't know what I did with it, because I am a giant derp. Put that away for now. Thank you. Combine these dudes, and then we should be able to go grow it downstairs in our in our thing. So now are you draining power at some point? I'm assuming you are. You're probably losing a large amount of power right now. That makes sense. Cool. Nice. Yeah, last episode we got this whole thing going, which should hold us over for power for a little bit. Um, and we can always just ramp up our magmatic dynamos, right? So that'll be cool. So how much RF a ticker are we losing here? Pretty decent amount. It's using around 256, I would guess. So that's not bad. And we can throw acceleration upgrades in this thing too, don't forget. Do, 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 do. All right. 
So now I just need dark steel, right? Uh, dark steel. Refresh my memory, because I know we've made it before, so we can make it, but it's steel and obsidian. Not terrible. Um, I might need more obsidian, though, because I think I did a very quick mine of obsidian last episode, and I didn't get a lot of it. So how about I go do that and come back in a minute? Is there, is there like a better way to make obsidian? I think I've already checked for this. There's the fluid solidifier of lava. How hard would that be to make? There's also the igneous extruder, which I don't think I can make because it needs a machine frame and that needs things that I definitely don't have access to yet. But fluid solidifier might be cool. Is that really how long it takes? It takes 51 seconds to cool lava into obsidian? Because that sounds awful. Is that accurate? I feel like it's worth trying though. Let me make this real quick just to see and then we'll be right back. All right, let's hope it doesn't really take 51 seconds to turn lava into obsidian because that seems absurd. Uh, so if I want obsidian, the other thing we need is a mold block and that is an empty shape plate again, which is, uh... was that dark steel that makes that? Steel, just regular steel. Do we have regular steel? We have more. We have some dark steel. Don't get me wrong. But we we're gonna need more lava anyway. So, uh, but steel is iron and coal, right? No, it's wrought iron and coal. So let's get like half a stack of steel. Does that sound like a fair shake? That'll get the ball rolling at least. Because we know this guy. We know what kind of trouble he's going to be. I feel like I should just throw another 32 in there just because. We're going to need wrought iron at some point, right? That's the way I feel about that. All right, so with you, that's one, two, three, four. We need the plates as well. Yeah, I would like to speed up my alloy smeltery. Now there are different tiers of alloy smeltery, right? So I could get the advanced one. I'm assuming, so that needs an empty machine hole, but otherwise it ain't that bad looking. I think it said it took primitive processors, microcircuit, primitive processors, or well, they might be a little bit more involved, but not terrible still. Right, so I guess we'll figure it out. Lots and lots and lots of steps. But that's why we're doing applied logistics to make our lives a little bit easier. Now then, who's got a hammer for me? Can I borrow you for a sec? Can you make the thing that's needed to make this? And then the thing that's needed to make this? Excellent. So now what I'm gonna do, pop that dude in there. Hey, thanks, basic uh, LV fluid solidifier, dude. If I borrow you, quest complete obsidian, yeah, I am. I can't just like do that. Oh, I can do that, sweet. He is kind of slow, look at him. That's a bummer, that JEI tooltip was accurate, wasn't it? That was an accurate JEI tooltip. Well, we completed quests. Right, so that's nice. Oh, I did these. I did that. That's a thing I did. That's a thing I did. 100% a thing I did. I also have one of these. How come you're not quest completed? Haha. <laughs> Give me all the rewards. I wonder if I can buy obsidian with mine coins or whatever they are, omni coins, yield coin shop. Is obsidian in here? That would be nice, but I don't see it. Yeah, obsidian is just annoying because you have to, it takes so long to mine it. That wasn't, that wasn't a minute though, right? I don't think that was a minute. Can I borrow you for a sec, Mr. Ender Tank? Thanks, Chief. 
Does this work? Yeah, it does. Nice. Yeah, that works. If I throw if I throw 64 buckets worth of lava in there, or however much happens to be in this tank, you know, back in the nether that we set up last episode, that'll just get me some passive obsidian production, right? So I can just let this run for a little bit, and he'll produce obsidian for me, and that'll be nice. I like that. I like that a lot. That works for me. And then you can chill there and get back to work, Lava. What do you mean water? You can't have water in you. That's impossible. Oh no, it's not impossible. You're sitting next to an infinite water source, aren't you? <laughs> uh, how do I clear that out? How much water is in there? That is actually a tricky question. Uh, we're gonna have to get a tank and dump that into the tank. One sec. I know we can make tanks, right? Like a regular boring old tank tank. One of these dudes. Yeah, they have a lot of work. Have one of these dudes. Yeah, that's doable. Just a little bit of iron. We might have some iron bars somewhere. Now we have dark steel ball bars. That's all right. But this should work. Ugh. Six rods, huh? I can make that happen, though. I can sort of make that happen though. Six of you. Whoops. Eight of you. And one. This is your. Cool. And hopefully the nether is going to behave himself. I'm just going to trash this thing, because whatever. Alright. Nether, are you loaded? What's going on over there? You should be getting lava by now. I wonder if I have to visit the dimension before it loads at least once, even though it's flagged as chunk loaded. Let's visit. Find out what's up. should be working dude I think he's scanning for lava I think that's what's happening there he goes all right cool meet you back home so I'm just gonna prevent that from accidentally happening again because that was a hassle you nice all right so back to work uh, so we've got some dark steel let me get a little bit more uh, so I already cooked up a bunch of steel because I knew I was gonna need it I need uh, five more of these so we'll be back in a few minutes when that's done. Hey, guess who's got an ME chest? One step closer, right? Booyah. That's pretty cool. All right. So now we've uh, got an ME chest going. So back to the, the beginning. Um, digital storage at last. So we want an MK store, a 1K storage cell, right? So I, I remember that not being too bad, right? Uh, we need four of those. We need a primitive circuit. Um, so what I'm thinking is we should just start with one for now. So we can have a basic ME system. And then we'll get the blast furnace so we can get a better ME system. Deal? That's not like a plan. Uh, so to make that a, a reality of life, we're going to need a little bit of this, which needs a little bit more paper, which I should have some of down here. And some copper wire. I'm shuffling around a little bit, but hey, soon I won't have to, right? Because, you know, good things and stuff. That, 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 and the raw iron plate. Sweet. All right. And then uh, four red alloy plates, which uh, I don't know if we have any red alloy left, but it's four redstone, right, for a copper ingot in the alloy smeltery. And that don't take too long. Yeah. And then you you hammer it up, right? And then uh, just glass, cool. But then we have to figure out the next bits because this thing is a little bit more complicated to make than normal. 
It's just electrical steel plates. That's not too bad. Do we have any more electrical steel? We have two. We need two more. That's steel and silicon, right? Yeah. So let's get two more steel. And silicon. That should get to work. You can go there. Electrical steel, get hammer in. Nice. And then this guy should be good. And then the other thing we're going to need for this is some fine red wire, which is a wire mill of red alloy wire, which is a wire. Okay, cool. So I need two more red alloy wires. If I'm mathing that correctly. Needs a lot of redstone, that stuff. So then we wire mill this. And that doubles it. And then we wire mill it again. And that makes this stuff. Oh wow, that makes a lot of that stuff. That's fine. Make a bunch, why not? You can always use more of it, right? We're gonna need it eventually. Because we're gonna have storage drive soon. Alright, getting there, getting there, getting there. Cool, so you've registered those two as complete, which means I can now do this, and that's a quest complete. Hooray, digital storage at last. Nice, now do I wanna hook that up to this system over here? And if so, I'm assuming that you're cool, right? I do that, and then I can, nice, Emmy chest, what's up? Cool and cool. Uh, now I'd love to have a crafting terminal, but I suspect that might be harder. Because I can make a regular terminal probably. Emmy terminal, yeah, easy. Right, crafting terminal requires calculation processor, which requires inscriber, which requires MV machine hole, which requires aluminum, which requires um, aluminum, which requires a blast furnace, right? So blast furnace is 100% our next step. Uh, my question is, where do I want to put it? Because I know we're going to need a lot of multi-block soon, right? Um, I'm thinking what I could do is, is, is clear out that building over there uh, and start doing some multi-blocks through there. That might be a cool plan. I don't know how many I'm gonna need, but let me clean up my inventory real quick because boy is that a mess. And then we'll come back and be ready to do what I need to do by way of making all this cool stuff that we wanna make. Cool? All right, be right back guys. Hey look, I found a thing. I'm mining for a minute. Dense diamond ore. Oh, that's cool, I'll take that. I didn't know dense ores was in the pack. I didn't even know that was a thing. Here. Today I learned. Yeah, just doing a bit of mining uh, because I need more nickel to make the thing I want to make. And finding a nickel vein was not easy. Did I talk about this on camera? I forget if we if we discussed this or not. It was not easy to find a nickel vein. Uh, not even a little bit easy. But I found one eventually. It took me a while, but I found one. And of course, it's gigantic, right? So that's very helpful. In this vein is garnerite, garnierite, which smelts into nickel ore. So that's cool. Um, and also nickel um, ore, which smelts into nickel, as you might imagine. So, back to mining. Back in a bit. Ooh, quest complete. Element 28, nickel. Yay! Guess it's because I got a stack of it. Don't mind if I do. Uh, does that mean in here we have more quests to collect resources from? Nice. 55 more of those coins. That is fun times. I'm looking forward. The, there's apparently an update coming out. It may be out by the time this video airs where the where the coin system changes a little bit. So I'm kind of saving them to see what kind of cool stuff I can buy um, once the new coin system's in place. Uh, but I feel like we're going to need a lot of Cooper Nickel uh, for our next task. So I'm going to go like right over to our alloy smeltery and make like a stack of that stuff. So we need an electric blast furnace, which needs a heat proof machine casing, which needs in bar plates. That's not where we need Cooper nickel. We need Cooper nickel coil blocks. According to the quest, we need 16 of these, right? Um, and each one is two Cooper nickel wire, um, which is basically a Cooper nickel ingot, right? Um, so that's a lot of Cooper nickel wire, right? Because um, in order to make 16 of these, 
we're going to need 16 times 8, which is two stacks, right? Uh, so that's basically a stack of Cooper-Nickel ingots. If, if my math is correct in my head, we're going to need a stack of Cooper-Nickel ingots for these coil blocks. Um, and we might need more eventually. Uh, now we are doubling this, so like let's not let's not forget that. So let's do that much, and that way we can kind of get ready. And you need to be wired, right? So get to work, buddy. So while that's cooking, uh, let's see what else we need to make. Uh, we needed in bar, which we may have some of, but also needs nickel. Clearly, uh, to no one's great surprise, we need a lot of nickel. So uh, invar, cool. We do have some of that already, so that's cool. We needed six plates, I think it was. Or was it five? Uh, six. Six plates. And then in addition to that, we needed um, an invar frame. Uh, invar frame. I'm assuming there's a non-colored version. Uh, three more plates. Okay, cool. And some, and some rods. Cool. How many rods? Uh, five rods. Is there a better way? Lathe and extruder, but I don't think either of those machines are available. Or I'm not going to say they're not available to me. I could probably make a lathe. I just haven't yet. I should probably look into it, to be fair. Um, but we'll get there. You, how are you doing? More of this, please. Thank you. Get to work. Stop being lazy machines. All right, over here, um, we can put you guys and you guys... Cool, Invar. Cool. Give me these back. And then, are you capable of doing this for me? Do you have all the components? You do. Good job, heat proof machine casings. We're going to need more of those, by the way, uh, before the day is done. Because uh, the bottom down here says I need 11 in total. Um, I assume one of them goes towards this and the remess. Yeah, okay. So now I need some circuits. How are you doing? Do, 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 do. Uh, I need I need a few more of you. So can you make more of these for me? You're gonna need more copper wires, but yes. Getting there. So that I'm gonna make one more set of. Just so we have this ready. Um, cool. So that's eight of those, right? Um, we probably need more red alloy cables. We probably need. Oh, I hate when I do that by mistake. Let's do sixteen of those. Yeah, we might need more copper pretty soon, but I'm hoping I have some of that. Let's go check. Maybe I've done copper. relatively recently I have nice go direwolf fun times these guys are done that means that many How about one more cool uh, oh that's cool uh, you, 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 you. Uh, no yeah, you. That, that. Let's just throw a bunch of these in here for the time being. Thank you for that being done. Red alloy cables. Yeah, we're going to need a few more red alloys. That should be cool. Get to work, buddies. Little jump cut later. Good times. All right. Um, hey, perfect. Perfect. All right. So more of these I definitely need. That, I need more of these. Which means I need that. I need that. I need a little bit more resin. I should have a lot of resin, right? I've been kind of hoarding that stuff just a smidge. And what do we do? Is it a compressor? Yeah, it's the compressor that turns you into rubber plates. Cool. Getting there, getting there. Short now on... Oh, more of those things? Really? Probably made a bench of them. 
That's enough for my thing, right? Oh, no, no, that's five. So no, we're actually really good now. Cool. So what am I missing? Furnaces? Is it just the regular recipe? It is. One by mistake. All right, what are we missing now? Just two tin cables, which we should have somewhere. If not there, then maybe down here. Yep, two of them. Just barely, but we have it. Nice. So that's that, right? Then we need the Cooper nickel coil blocks, which we should be able to make by combining these two. Putting that in there. That made eight of them. Did I math that wrong? I guess I did. So we do need we do need two stacks. All right. I mean, I was I was half wrong. <laughs> I was initially right, and then I was wrong again. <laughs> yeah, that makes eight. Right. We need sixteen. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. So we basically need another stack of um, or another half stack of copper and nickel uh, to smelt up. I should be smelting more stuff. So we have a decent amount of nickel, but we could totally use more copper. What 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 smelts from copper? Tenorite, tetrahedrite, cuprite. I don't think I found this. Tenorite. Tetrahedrite. Cooprite. I guess I haven't been finding this stuff as much as I might have hoped. Oh well. We might have to go mining for copper between episodes, but we're getting close to that point, right? In fact, you're pretty done. Um, so we've got this guy ready. So let's do another half stack of you and you to make Cooper nickel. What else do I need for this so that we know? I think I'm going to craft the rest of this stuff between episodes. So that's what I think I'm going to do. We'll, we'll wrap up the episode here. I'll make the rest of this and do a little bit of mining. We'll come back next time. We'll make the electric blast furnace, which is a major, major milestone in my Greg Tech career, right? It'll probably wind up being in the room back here somewhere. This might be a multi-block room for a little bit. I don't know how many multi-blocks we're going to run into. I, I think as we progress in the series, we're going to get into a lot of them. Um, but, you know, for now... We'll start with that room, and then we'll get into more stuff, you know, in the future. Uh, also, for now, it's wrapping up point. So, Devil20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time. We will get the Blast Furnace going. We'll upgrade our Applied Energistic system. And hopefully, relatively quickly, we can get into a point where we can do automation um, of a lot of things, right? I'm kind of rushing AE a little bit, but it's also available to me at this stage. And I think it's going to really help because it's very clear to me that we're going to want um, automation in the long run. Cool? All right, guys, take it easy.